In today's video, new terror mode is out and every zombie is 3 times stronger and some zombies require 3 explosives to kill them. This has been an interesting one for sure, I hope you will enjoy. Oh my god, what is that all star up there? And why do they all have blue eyes? What is this? Regular zombies with blue eyes? Yeah, sure, works every time. So apparently this mod is even worse than Giga mod. I haven't even played Giga mod, so this is a first. So let's see how strong the zombies actually are. Well, he ain't dying, let me tell you that much. He would have already died by now. We can definitely see that they're stronger. That is for sure. All right, here comes the final wave. They're sending in more zombies, but I think we gotta be the four pictures, dude. Yeah, these regular zombies are actually very bulky now, which is uh, not cool at all. Let's just say that much. Okay, first level, nice and easy. Good start. All right, here they come and I don't even have some for a Pichur. Lovely stuff. All right, let's see how long will it take for one Pichur to kill this bastard. Well, that's not gonna lie to you, this ain't going well. Okay, we are already in trouble. What is this one Pichur can do jack crap against them? Okay, thank god, but I have another problem here. Well, as this might be a bit more difficult than I anticipated. Lovely! Okay, so basically, regular zombies are like normal co-heads in the normal game. You gotta love that. Alright, here comes the final wave. Hello there. My man is wearing a same and bloody flag. Ah, what a cheeky plug. I love it. And that flag zombie is actually a little bit fast for me. I don't like it at all. Okay, we're actually not gonna lose all more. Thank god. Okay, cherry bomb. We're gonna need ya. We're gonna need you pretty badly. Alright, next up. Now we have have cone heads but more buffed cone heads this could be very bad okay so if you put a picture in the back line and he starts shooting from the bloody first style yeah you can kill a regular zombie barely oh shit here comes cone heads i think i want to cherry bomb him asap okay cherry bomb do your thing thank you all right so cherry bomb works against cone heads pretty nicely yeah i have three pictures but i think i'm gonna lose one uh pretty much so yeah yeah oh these pictures are gonna piss me off on day yeah they are going to piss me off a little bit <laughs> not gonna lie yeah this is definitely gonna be a tough one must say all righty Final wave coming in. Obviously, I'll be using a cherry bomb because how else? Thank God, cherry bomb still works on these lot because screw cone heads and screw regular zombies, and we got a walnut. Alrighty, still the same thing. Cone heads and regular zombies, but this time I have walnuts. So far, we're doing good. Setting up the pictures, you know, the classic two column strategy because how else? I just wonder how bulky are like buckethead zombies then? If for cone heads, I need three pictures. For bucketheads, I will need like what, six? To be fair, we do have explosives, which I'll be using off. Obviously, but let's hope that the explosive will kill him. Okay, let's see if three of them can kill this cone head. Okay, so basically they can just about. So it needs to be really like perfect timing. But yeah, thank God we got walnuts. Cherry bombing coming. It's gonna go there. Boom. See you later, nerds. Alrighty, we got a shovel. I need potato mines, not shovels. Oh, we're now bowling. Now this is gonna be interesting. Two cone heads straight away. Okay, let's see how much will it take from a cone head. It will take three shots. Lovely stuff. All right, we're definitely using a bloody explosives for this one. They should both die. And they are dead. For you two, I don't need anything else. Yeah. Oh, that's a triple, baby. Here comes the final wave. Yeah, salmon flag, seal air, explosive there, and then just spam the rest, I suppose. Or instead of spamming, we'll just do that. Yeah, simple as that. And we get a potato mine. I will need that. Oh, boy. Paul Walters. Really? All right, Potato Man, you know what you need to do. You know exactly what you need to do. Thank God for that. Thank God we have these Potato Mines because we would not be able to defend with just two Pichers because they're just too bulky. Oh, crap. Well, you know what? Have it already. I don't care. Now, I have no idea how bulky this mother... Is. Yeah, I think uh, Paul Walters are even more bulkier than before. Lovely stuff. And I miss that sunflower as well. Good stuff. Okay, potato mine, you will have to do the job there because that Paul Walter is mean. Just means bad business. All right, here comes the final wave. Obviously, Cherry Bomb will do the tricks. Oh, yeah, yeah, you're definitely gonna do the trick there. Let me tell you that much. Oh, yes, you bastard. Yes, see you later, guys. Not the chance. All righty. Thank God for that. We got a snow peak. Lovely. We have pretty much the same thing. Love that. All right, let's see how long will it take for these two to kill a Paul Walter. I'm hoping that uh, Snow Pea will clutch it up a little bit here. Let's get that party started. They should kill it, to be fair. So slow. Okay, it works, ladies and gentlemen. The tactic works. Snow Pea is the way, lads. Well, this setup is absolutely broken. Let me tell you that much. It's so broken, I'm gonna spam even more Pichers because none of them are getting even close to my plan. 
points now. And of course, we do have a cheeky cherry bomb, a little high callway, some things never change. And bye bye, Paul Walter, no one likes you. Okay, now I'm fully expecting these three zombies up there to die in seconds because look how many pictures we have, man. Like, it's so broken. Let's see if Paul Walter, while he's running, can actually kill any of my uh, pictures. We have four of them. He will maybe jump over one, but I think he will die straight away after that. I think so. Okay, he jumps over one and he dies. Okay, the prediction was correct. Okay, you may actually take two pictures, but like, oh well, anyway. And you didn't even take. Okay, you took one. Okay. Are you happy? Congratulations. Smile wave. And I will just absolutely do this straight away because I can't be bored with those Paul Walters. And we got a chomper. I think we're gonna need it this time. Next level. And here we go, Buckethead Zombie. I said we're gonna need the Chomper, but I'm not gonna use him. Bruh. Uh-oh, here comes Bucket Boy. Okay, just cherry bomb him straight away. Doesn't die. Okay, that's totally fine. Totally fantastic. Okay, at least those two kill him together, which is kind of nice, not gonna lie. So basically, you need at least two explosives, at least, to kill this bastard. Alright, final wave, where is the Bucket Boy? Bucket Boy needs to die, and he is right here. CLR, yep, still, he literally doesn't care. It's not even his second form of a bucket. So dumb, now it's the second form of a bucket. So potato mine and the cherry bomb deals with a bucket head, lovely. Is this dumb, ladies and gentlemen? Well, let me tell you, it is, but we're gonna still do it. Why not? This early game is definitely an interesting one. I definitely shot myself a little bit here. All right, we have the first part of the setup done. It looks pretty good, if I can say so myself. I think in this mod, the worst thing that could happen is that when they go into, like, groups. But that's why you have cherry bombs to clear it out, but you won't have cherry bombs all the time So that's definitely one part you definitely need to keep an eye out For example the bottom lane even though it's free normal zombies because in this mod everything is bulky It will take them forever to kill them or for example this normal zombie just died and now conehead is like Okay, I'm bulky mother I'm just gonna go and kill everybody, yeah. Alright, Bucket Boy, you already know how this goes, even though he doesn't give a shit, but... Oh yeah, Paul Walters now as well, not my uh, favorites, let's just say that much. I mean, look how many pictures women have, they look at this, and he still doesn't care, he's so bloody bulky. This is what I'm interested in. I don't have explosives right now, how long will it take these four to kill this bloody boss? And I'm really interested in that, for sure. Yeah, it takes them bloody long, let me tell you that much. He doesn't wanna die. A normal Bucket it will be done by now jesus christ he can take a lot of shots dude oh my goodness so it's either you make this beast of a setup or you don't do anything basically or maybe you just cherry bomb and pray for the best either one works Alrighty, that's that done let's get the boss fight out of the way Alrighty, boss wave they're gonna send absolute crap ton of them now this will be actually interesting all right chomper i'm gonna need you to do your thing right now man eat him thank god for that i wonder if chomper can eat the bucket head i've really never tested that out properly oh bucket boy this is perfect we're now gonna find out if chomper actually can eat this poor bastard hopefully he will finish his meal soon or we will never know okay he's finishing his meal let's see if he can eat him he can okay chomper is the ultimate counter to everything love that all right let's do it oh he can still he still didn't die even though he was in the bloody first bucket head phase already whoa okay that makes things a little bit more interesting so he does need three bloody explosives oh shit yeah, alrighty, cherry bomb there, cherry bomb here, and yeah, only Buckhead Boy is alive. Yeah, Chomper, if you wouldn't mind, yep, yeah, thank you very much. Also, another cherry bomb here, yeah, you would not mind, yeah. What is this, a double bucket head there? Oh, goodness gracious, okay, yeah, cherry bomb, please, dude. Yeah, look at that, he still doesn't die. Even though he entered the second Buckhead phase, he doesn't die. Alrighty, here comes the final wave. This has been a crazy boss bell, let's just say that much. They're definitely spicing it up maybe the game will be generous enough to give us a cheeky cherry bomb maybe probably not actually and yeah, they're just marching through those yeah they're just marching through yep great fantastic yeah you just keep going man nothing to worry about whatsoever dude okay bucket can we just wrap it up now yeah thank you very much and goodbye well for the next video we're in the nighttime and what the hell is this newspaper wearing and you have some sort of new newspaper now well there we have it guys that was the terrible hope you guys didn't enjoy if you did make sure to have a like on it subscribe if anybody's new here let me know in the comment section if you want to see this once again. I would be very happy to do it again. Apart from that, thank you so much for watching. Catch you guys next time. Bye-bye.